explain to somebody. When you're 23 and you begin your life at the top of the chart and you've got that spunk and you go bring on the world and you go, okay, here's a Grammy and here's an audience and you got it. Now, when you invariably do find out that not everything you touch turns to gold, you've got a choice. You either bleed out or you tie off. The first right? time somebody so misunderstands you and says you're a womanizer. You don't consider yourself a womanizer? No. no absolutely not. Off of when you're I'm a recovered ego addict, and the only way that I can that I can be sure that I don't relapse is to admit that I constantly have this ego yeah, addiction. I have a feel there are gonna be times when I make so music I as play. as popular or, or, or empirically empirically valuable as that in terms of making pop music. That that won't make, sell as many copies, and I'm fine with that. You, you get to an age. You know exactly. Look, this is what I would tell my young self. You are now my young self. And what a handsome young me you are. <laughs> I'm trying. There was never a shot. There was never a shot of doing this perfectly. It was never in the cards. That's what see. I write. Success people. comes with hatred. Yeah, it just comes with. Yeah, that's how we learn about things now. And I write, hey, I'm John. I just want to let you know that. This feeling you're having that uh, you become successful but the world won't stop hating on you, this is not a broken version of success, this is the new version of success.